I finally farmed my first Mage Blood since I started playing Path of Exile back in the best year league, and damn it feels good. I think it's a combination of a lot of things, getting better throughout the years, being able to farm more maps by prepping better using things like regexes, mass prepping maps, sticking to one strategy, as well as just getting super lucky. Two of the apothecaries I got, I got for free pretty much, because I dropped a mirror shard, or I dropped mirror shards from Harbingers, and I'm pretty sure if I didn't get those mirror shards, I'd be farming for another month. So, you know, it is what it is. I farmed mostly Harbingers, Exiles for Gold, and Harvest. I have to say, the King's March map bears got me quite a few divines, and I think if I had used them more, I would have gone the Mage Blood a lot earlier. But I guess it doesn't really matter now. If you're still looking for our Mage Blood, I'd suggest sticking to one strategy and just focusing on running maps. I think what helped me back the most in the past was the fact that I was too busy in my hideout trying to figure out why I was so poor, constantly switching strategies, and that's why I was so poor, right? I wasn't running maps. Because at the end of the day, you get currency by grinding maps. The strategy isn't as important as you doing content. You can be running essences and still make lots of currency, especially because of the currency, currency market. I think that's also another reason. I just sold over I had and I was super surprised by how many divines I had just by selling stuff that I would normally never sell. So this guy Faustus is sort of goaded. Well, I'll be focusing on other upgrades now. And if you're also still trying to buy Mage Blood, I got you because the moment I bought my Mage Blood, it went down like 50 divines. So, you know, no problem. 